Hi guys, Mythical here. Welcome to the second round of the XRL Season 7 GP3 Championship. And today I'm in Malaysia. Now, last round at Australia, finished in fifth position, I think, after a penalty. Um, yeah, that was quite good. But obviously, as I said from last episode, last race, that these races actually took place two two years ago, nearly now. So obviously, it's uh, just a recap of what happened. Now, this is in the wet condition, and obviously, you know, on this game, quite tricky actually. I, th I, I did quite struggle in the wet conditions, especially I think the heavy wet conditions. I didn't, I wasn't really too great in, but. Obviously, uh, this season was a learning curve for me because I'm ne I never raced in league racing before. This was my first full season, and uh, you know I was I, I, I do a different way of driving. But obviously, through the season, I learnt a lot, and uh, hopefully, you'll see through these videos. So, exiting the tight hairpin turn there of turn nine, then through this is turn eleven. P already purple, but I think this is quite start to the session this was uh, quite uh, early in the session so I'm gonna be probably near top of the tree but as I go wide there and uh, watching some of the driving back a bit scruffy but um, hopefully you can excuse that because that was really my first sort of time in competitive driving anyway heading through to the exit of the hair, uh, hairpin and then down to the finishing line and do a 38-1 which put me I believe in about 8th position so yeah that was a decent lap you know I I, I don't I, I can't remember if it, I could have improved by much but you'll see by the lines I took there I, I, I could have but you know I didn't it was still a learning curve for me but anyway dry race so looking forward to it see how I get on I had a different mentality of um, this uh, it, taking pla well had a different mentality of doing stuff in this race than I did in Australia. I remember going into this race as you'll see now, more aggressive I felt in this race. I decided to change my style of driving just because I didn't know which I didn't really have much experience, so I didn't really know which one would be you know the best. But yeah, this was quite a, ra a race where I decided to be a bit aggressive at the start. Gained a couple, few places by going around the outside. Ch chose the right line because in, in Malaysia, you know, you can gain a few places if you choose the right line at turn one, two, and three. But anyway, up to sixth place. So now go a bit too deep, miss the apex by a mile. Um, but keep six. Tyson's right behind in the Sauber. Riotus Tagu had great battle within the Red Bull ahead so in Australia that was a great battle with him but just trying to follow around miss the apex again and you know to be honest watching this back pretty poor to be honest because I didn't really I'll be honest I didn't have much knowledge about apexes and all that racing line I just drove to um, you know drove try drove as quick as I can really I didn't you know I didn't really have you know which way was the best way to do this and that obviously for the season I learned a lot but then uh, you know right as tag comes back he started on the hard tire I started I think this was the option tire I started on obviously you have two choices I, I started on the option tire um, bit unusual because I started most of the races this season on the uh, prime tires but um, I must have felt that this was be the quicker way because I did a lot of practice I know that for a fact as I go wide speed demon gets six and then I'm obviously gaining because I've gotten a good slipstream. He must be running more downforce than I am because I'm not really getting much of a slipstream from the car ahead. I'm gaining on a straight line. But then, yeah, look at this. is a bit sloppy. I lose a bit of the rear end, then slide on the curb and touch him. And, yeah, that was the um, collision I had with him. And I remember at the time I felt guilty because, you know, I caused the collision. Obviously, uh, on this game, you had auto-spin curbs, which... Um, basically threw you into the path of another car or well just knocked you off sp sort of half spun you so I did feel guilty although I didn't actually get a penalty for it because the stewards knew that the auto spin curb cost it but I felt guilty nonetheless and I apologised him to him after the race said sorry to him but you know and we forgot about it but yeah I learned a lot from that you know after that after this 
I had to learn a lot from that incident because I felt it was still my fault. But uh, yeah, you gotta, I mean, to be honest, I mean, the the incidents I've learned way more than I have from driving. For about obviously this is two years I've been doing league racing, but I've learned a lot from that incident. Another incident I have later on in the season as well, which really changed how I approach things. But it's good to have incidents because if you don't make mistakes or don't have incidents, you never learn really. And it proved me as a driver, so yeah, I'm really I'm grateful for that in a way. But anyway, again, I had a good couple of battles with Riotous Tag again in this race. And uh, I, I, going into, I thought this guy would be, you know, the sort of guy I'll be racing with most of the season. I think after this race, you know, I, I did. Me and him were quite close on pace. And again, but to be fair, to be honest, again, my pace wasn't great looking at this season overall because, I, I, as mentioned in the last race, I didn't have um, the greatest knowledge on setups, which took me ages to learn, but. I didn't actually learn them myself, but I sort of learnt from a teammate, from his setups. But anyway, I'm up into 7th, and you'll see now I'll go wide, so I lose momentum. Going into this left hand, then right hander, and riotous tag is all over me, and you'll see he makes a cracking move. I have to turn out, thankfully, I recognise him. You'll see now, dives up the inside, I have to turn out because I know he's coming. If I didn't turn out there in the collision, but it was a good move from Riotus. Then he had a bit of contact with Tyson, and he's gone into a half spin. Um, can't remember what it was called on this game, but um, side pod glitch, that's it. The game had so many glitches, um, curbs, and side pods, you know, so yeah, it was a bit frustrating, to be honest, that the game was a bit glitchy. To be fair, mentioning that, that probably actually caused my incident with, well, a combination of a side pod and the curb glitch caused my incidents with uh, Speed Demon, but yeah. And then you'll see it rains, and in typical Malaysian fashion, the weather changes, and it goes to rain, so Inter's required. And this was obviously my second experience of racing on the intermediates in Lee racing, and didn't re I didn't I didn't do much actually practicing wet weather on um, this game. To be honest, I, I just practiced in the dry. And uh, what held me back as well in this game was the fact that I practiced on a single player. So I felt there's always a limitation to my pace in the Lotus because I always practice in the Lotus. And they had lower gearings than the Mercedes cars, which the Mercedes cars were actually based on online performance. So, yeah, I, I did test the Mercedes, but they didn't suit me, to be honest. So, yeah, the Lotus held me back in that sort of potential. But, to be honest, seventh place was a good result. You know, I'd take that. Another six points. I think I got moved up, actually, in the end, thanks to another penalty. Uh, eight, uh, six, 18 points, 6 place in the championship, that's nice, going into China, that's going to be an um, interesting race, so I hope you enjoyed this race, thanks for watching, thanks for listening to me ramble on, until next time, for China, thanks for watching and goodbye.